Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and as well Pisces Rising. We, uh, monthly, excuse me, tarot reading for the month of December 2019. And bear with me just a couple of seconds, guys, to shuffle the, uh, the tarot cards, and we're gonna jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your month, this is going to be the Moon card, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here throughout the month, that is going to be the Lovers. Afterwards, what we do have, it is the intentions or the best way how you can tackle with all that is going to be the Six of Swords. Then what we do have, it is the lesson that you need to learn, that is going to be the Ten of Swords. And then the last one here that stands for the uh, energies that will help you go through all that, it's going to be the Five of Cups. It's pretty clear, it's pretty straightforward. I hear uh, with this uh, with this month that is going to be a month of breakthrough for you, okay? It's like a month where you, 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 you simply do what, uh, what it is necessary not to go through uh, uh, bad things any longer. Um, in regards to career or in regards to a uh, relationships uh, so the first card which is the moon uh, it's accompanied or it's going to be catalyzed by the knight of cups for you pisces so what we do have it is a, a month where uh, you are going to address the things that you ma that makes you feel insecure either career wise or either relationship wise determined not to leave things to happen by a chance but whatever it is to produce to be produced as a result from your career or from your relationship to correspond um, accordingly to uh, to your efforts that you put into and uh, that will be in regards to the grand scheme of things what I mean it is that if you see that you cannot influence you know, either your career or either your relationship, uh, that will force you to make some drastic actions here but that could involve as well leaving, okay, breaking your relationship or leaving your job. So uh, you can move to the next thing that this time around you can do something about it, all right? So it's kind of like a taking up the steeds within your own hands of, um, of your horse, of your chariot, if you will, and uh, improving your circumstances. That is due to the moon card. Now, the moon card points that the month itself uh, is going to present you with a lot of, um, how can I say it, with a lot of situations, say, that are going to make you feel insecure. And that this is where you're going to address the things at, at those situations and uh, opting for to, uh, how can I say it, uh, for to uh, establish control over the circumstances around those situations and uh, with uh, intention not to abandon the path that you have chosen but that path does not 
fix on a specific thing, it fits on a specific idea. The idea to be loved and to love, the idea to be productive into career, it does not fix itself on a specific person or on a specific job. So it's very important to uh, recognize that. So in another word said here, the topic is going to be all about you starting to follow the dreams of your heart. And if the situations that you are involved in right now does not relate to the dreams of your heart, well, they have to go. And it is what you're going to release throughout the month. So the month is about liberation and simultaneously a, a breakthrough for you. The challenge itself is going to be the decision that you will have to make. That is the lover's card and it is accompanied with the um, uh, eight of swords and it is about the truth. The truth that is going to make you free and the decision that you will have to make ba based on this truth. Am I happy in this relationship? Am I, am I going to be successful in this job? And what I can do in order to change that? This is going to be the challenge here, guys. You pretty much will are going to know what you will have to do. Uh, it's going to be drastic. I do admit that as I saw the next card, but we're going to get there into the minute, in a minute. The challenge itself is going to be you uh, admitting this to yourself. Because with those two cards, uh, as they refer to decision making that is based by the truth, also they say that if the um, acknowledgement of the truth makes you free, then what the denial of it really makes you, okay? So those two cards could point to the final straw of abusive relationship that you have to leave, the final straw of, uh, uh, how can I say it, ungrateful job that you have to leave as well, or it could point to the decision in between two people you want to be with, you know, and while you don't want to... Um, how can I say it? Leave one of them miserable. At the end of the day, you have to make a decision in regards to it, okay? And you have to do it in a way that it satisfies the dreams of your heart. And you have to uh, recognize that. I mean, you have to recognize the dreams of your heart and see where they're leading you toward and take a decision in favor of this direction. Doing so, that thing is going to, uh, the, the, the fact that you are going to do so is going to liberate your environment from a lot of issues. I mean, a lot of problems that you currently have are going to start resolving themselves on your own on their own accords. And additionally to that, it will um, exert harmony into your daily routine and into your environment as well. The other card here refers to the intentions and that is the Six of Swords. Here is going to be accompanied by the Hermit card. So we do have an active enemies into this position. And um, I will try to explain this, the intentions that way. Just the thought of a single thing is not going to get you there. I mean, real actions are needed. Or in this particular case, what it is needed here, it is just the triversion of a certain threshold that you are sitting on, that decision that is going to be challenging for you to take. The problem, however, is going to be uh, the understanding of the importance or the, the substantiability of your decision. I don't know how to say it, all right? So this, this is how it goes. Whatever decision you have to make, you will not going to be able to say with a big margin which is better than the other, all right? And that will be a, a difficult thing for you to discern from. So intentionally wise, you should not overthink it once again, and you should not try to be wise about it, if you will, but instead go with your guts, go with your emotions, see what makes you happier than the other. Okay, that, that's the whole point. So you should not be uh, mercantilized about it or kind of like a calculative about it, but just, you know, go with, 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 with what your sense it is dictating here. So the other card, it refers to the lesson that you need to learn, and that is going to be the Ten of Swords, uh, while accompanied with the Prince or represented in the traditional deck with the Knight of Swords. We do have an active supporters into this position, and that's a big lesson. And I think that everybody learns that lesson many, many times, all right, throughout their life for a different situations. And that is the lesson of... Um, knowing 
when it's over. Okay, knowing when it's over, either uh, of one career or either of one relationship or in general, either of one situation, because that could be the lesson where you need to learn uh, when it's over to be single and let someone, you know, to try out, you know, give a chances to someone. Okay, it's just a lesson when you have to learn when it's, it's over and now it's time for you to do the, the irrevocable acts. Okay, to provoke a new dawn into uh, into one's life, so uh, it pretty much it's a it's a big month with a a big lesson for you guys. Um, I it's also a a lesson where you have to acknowledge as well the synchrony, the symbiosis in between your mind and your emotions as well, because it looks like that what that month is all tell me, is telling me that there will be a um, your mind and your emotions are pulling you into different directions, you know, and you are going to learn how to make them um, go into in one direction, you know, in the same direction. And that pretty much describes the chariot. Although we don't have the chariot in this reading, um, if you be able to do so, okay, uh, with um, or to learn that lesson, then triumph is imminent. And tr that is triumph over life in general, you know, triumph over uh, the miserability into career or into the lack of love into a relationship life and so on and so forth. But all goes through the um, through the determination to just not succumb to the situation. It's kind of like saying, well, you know, it is what it is and I'm just going to go with it, you know, uh, instead of being determined to do what it is necessary to improve the circumstances, even if that means to let go of or to break a relationship, even if that means to quit job, you know, even if that means to say what you think, because this could also be the case here that you think certain things about a friend of yours, but you're not saying them because you think that that is going to hurt their ego or their emotions. And that friend of yours keep on doing bad things to you. And you finally have to say what you have in your mind. So the last card here points to the energies that are to support you. We do have the five of cups with uh, the uh, four of wands here. These cards are a passive enemies in that particular case. And what they are pointing to us, it is that, um, you know, whatever those actions of yours are going to provoke as a, uh, a negative aspect, because drastic measures, once again, uh, they always provoke certain negative aspects into one's life, all right? So, for example, you break in toxic relationship, uh, that person starts chasing you, you know, it starts stalking you, if you will. Those two cards are pointing that those negative impacts as an energy that are to support you are not going to have a, a long living uh, influence or impact again uh, in your life, but that impact is going to be short lived, all right? And only the good things are going to stay for longer in there. So th those uh, energy wise, Although not directly, uh, it looks like that you are going to have that boosted confidence and courage as well to do what it is needed here in order to um, regain control back into your life, if you will, all right? Because with the Moon card at the start that was catalyzed by the uh, Prince of Cups, uh, that is uh, personal emotional insecurity that does not uh, allow one to influence the circumstances around. And in the month of December, it is exactly what you're going to do, all right? It's just, you know, have the things the way you, you're going to feel happy about. If someone wants to be with you with those uh, new rules and newly established uh, situations, that's great. If they don't, that's even better. So that being said, Pisces, this was your monthly tarot reading, December 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.